name is Lizzie Breyer, Fast FT Level 4 Advanced Practitioner and um, I wanted to talk to you today about Law of Attraction. Um, law of Attraction for people with anxiety or um, we could spread that to people that like to worry um, because what I've noticed is I'm getting a lot of people that are suffering from anxiety panic attacks or things like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue and they're really worried that they are going to create something even worse because of law of attraction and um, so so for instance they might have a thought um, with like for instance with panic that they're going to be all alone and uh, they'll be locked up in a psych ward or um, they're going to get cancer or something like that and because of what they've read about law of attraction they believe that that means it's going to happen they're going to manifest it um, and I really don't think it's that simple and I want you to just put that out there really <laughs> to calm a few people down because that's what I really became aware of myself when I was going through panic because I had like the most horrendous fearful thoughts about what was going to happen to me and none of them came about okay so they never did manifest they were just the worst the worst was just me believing it and I really do think that's what happens yes maybe when you're in that place where you're really feeling positive and you're in high vibration or whatever you want to call it you can manifest this and you're more likely to have that but actually I really don't see that when we're in that state of anxiety or if it's coming from a painful place that those things manifest I think the worst of the worst is believing it and that's it, it doesn't go any further than that and I've seen that with so many people. I mean, if that was the case, we'd be manifesting all kinds of crazy things in this world, you know. There would just be so many um, horrendous things happening day after day because so many people are thinking these scary thoughts. Um, and that doesn't seem to be happening. So I, I personally don't see that law of attraction works when we're in that state. I just don't... It's almost like when we're in a negative place, nothing can be created out of that. It's just... It's almost like all the creativity is just there's something pushed on top of it, holding it all down. And the universe is actually a very friendly place. It's really not as bad as what we imagine in our head. So I really think law of attraction applies more with when we're in a, in a like I'm going to put that there, like a positive state. So we're in a good place and we're feeling great, and it's like we've made room for all those things. So we're likely to attract them or to yeah to feel that um, but when we're in a state of anxiety or panic or pain then we just we get caught up in a in a, a different part of the brain almost that's got constantly worrying and looking for a problem and finding things to scare the hell out of us and if we start believing law of attraction on top of that we're creating even more fear and anxiety and I can see how for many people this is actually tripping them up so they're then worrying about worrying you know, so it's bad enough that they're already worrying and then they're going oh my god I shouldn't worry because if I worry that's going to create this so every time I start thinking about myself being in a hideous car crash that's going to happen oh my god so it's like more and more fear and anxiety which is not helping anyone um, and still doesn't manifest the car crash. Now what it can all that I can see happening is that you're just getting more stress, more worries and you're believing it more and more so you might change your lifestyle in the sense that you might stop going out, you might stop avoiding things, you might stop seeing as many friends, your life becomes smaller and smaller because you're believing all this fearful stuff but it's still not happening so you haven't manifested it but you're living your life as if it's happening and that's the difference so with this no you're not creating it you're not actually manifesting it as a a real thing but you're living your life as if it is real and that's the difference um so yeah i hope that helps um actually i, I remember seeing anita majani 
talking about this as well. She did Dying to Be Me, and it might even be in her book, I don't know, but she did a really great talk about that, how, you know, this the law of attraction is tripping up many people that are already very, um, that worry. Because we're so, we become so afraid that that's going to create, whatever we think about is going to create our reality, and then we're censoring our thoughts. So or we're trying to censor our thoughts and that's really hard because a thought's just going to appear and then we might judge that thought, oh my god, don't think that, that's going to create this and then you're feeling more frightened. So do you see how it's it's kind of counterproductive? Um, yeah, I hope that helps. It'll be interesting to know what your thoughts are and uh, yeah, thank you very much. Bye.